Hey guys, this is the tutorial for coincidence. This is a very easy effect and I'm going to show you a few different ways of doing it. A couple of them are gimmicked and the last one is ungimmicked. This first method is a gimmicked method and it's the one that I used in the video. All you have to do is take two different decks of cards, take a matching card from each deck and place it on top. Then take a small piece of double stick tape and put it on the back of each card right in the middle. I'm not sure if you can see the double stick tape on the back or not, but it, it is there. What's good about this method is you can actually do this with two spectators and you don't even have to handle the cards and it's entirely self-working, which is really great because the magic can happen right in the spectator's hands. Both of the decks can be shuffled by you, but they have to be shuffled by you because you need to make sure that the top card of each deck stays the same. So make sure that the matching Jack of Diamonds stays on top. After the decks have been shuffled, the spectators can choose any deck that they want. It doesn't matter which spectator gets which deck or if the magician is involved, it doesn't matter which deck the magician gets. It works either way. So let's say the spectator wants this deck. They get to choose any card they want. That card is placed on top and then they set the deck down. And the magician or the second spectator does the exact same thing. Now if you're using two spectators, the only time the magician will ever have to touch the deck is just to sit here and square it up, and while you're squaring it up, take your index finger and press down and apply some pressure because this will make sure that the double stick tape sticks to the randomly selected card because you really don't want to have it where it doesn't stick and then it would ruin the trick. But because it sticks to the Jack of Diamonds, the top card of each deck now matches to the spectator's amazement and everything happened right in their hands. Now the only problem with this is because it's a double stick tape card, it's not examinable. But this next gimmick method will solve that problem. The one problem with the first gimmick method is that the matching card at the end of the trick isn't examinable because it's a double stick tape card. But this second gimmick method allows the matching card at the end of the trick to be examinable. Now this method isn't completely self-working, but it is still pretty easy. It requires almost the same setup as the first one. Take two different decks and remove a matching card from each deck and place it on top. But what you now need to do is take a double backed card from each deck, place it on top with a piece of double stick tape in the center of each of the cards. Once again, the decks can be shuffled as long as you make sure to keep the double backer and the matching card on top of the deck. So just make sure that the top cards stay the same. Then the spectator can select any deck they want and any card that they want and that card gets placed on top of the deck. Now your second spectator or the magician gets to do the exact same thing. Now what's going to happen is the spectator's selection rather than sticking to the matching card is going to stick to the double backer. So the matching card is in the second position. So all you have to do now is just simply do a double lift. So if you do your double lift and show that we have the jack of diamonds on top, you can now set this card down completely normal and the double backer is also going to cover up the fact that you did a double lift. So same thing over here, you have your double backer with the random card stuck to it and in the second position you have the jack of diamonds which is the matching card. So if you do your double lift, you can now set down their card completely cleanly, the double backer covers up your double lift and both cards are completely examinable. Now I know the deck isn't examinable but the spectator isn't going to want to thoroughly examine the deck, all they're going to want to see is that all of the cards are different and that every single card isn't exactly the same and that no matter what they chose it was going to be magic. That's the only thing they'll want to examine. They, they're not going to notice that there's a double back card in there. And now let's get into the ungimmicked method for coincidence. The ungimmicked method requires the same basic setup as the other two methods. Just take two different decks and remove a matching card and place it on top. Both decks can be shuffled as long as you make sure to retain the top card and keep it the same. Then the spectator can select any deck they want, let's say that they want this one. They go through and pick any card that they want and it's placed on top of the deck. And then your magician or spectator number two can do the exact same thing. Now because there's no double stick tape, the randomly selected card isn't going to stick to the matching jack of diamonds, which means that the matching jack of diamonds is now in the second position. So there are a couple ways to show that the top card is the Jack of Diamonds. Now you could do something more complicated like the top change, but a really simple method is just to use a double lift and show that the top card on this deck is the Jack of Diamonds 
And amazingly enough, what a coincidence, the top card in this deck is also the Jack of Diamonds. Now at this point, you're not completely clean because you did a double lift and so there is going to be another card underneath the top card. Now it's really easy to clean up for this trick. All you have to do is just take the deck, tilt it towards you so the spectator can't see the top of the deck, and simply set down their selection. Now you've got this card underneath it and you, you need to turn it over. Because you just handed them their selection, there's a good chance they're going to be examining it and they're going to be distracted and you can just sort of casually flip this over without them noticing. But if they don't get distracted for some reason or they only look at the selection for a minute and they're watching your hands again, all you do is just keep the deck tilted towards you so they can't see this card on top and then do the Browie Reversal. And what the Browie Reversal is going to do is take that card that was on top face up and now reverse it on the bottom and all of the cards will be facing the same way and everything is completely clean and examinable. So once again, you have this card underneath here so it's not completely clean. Tilt the deck towards you and set down their selection. If they get distracted and they're examining it, just casually take this card and flip it over without them noticing. But if they are watching you, just do the Browie Reversal. And what the Browie Reversal is going to do is take their selection and reverse it on the bottom so it's now facing the correct way with all of the other cards. And that is the tutorial for the ungimmicked method of coincidence. I hope all of this was helpful, but if you're still confused about anything, just ask me a question in the comments, send me a personal message, and I will see you guys next time.